Countifs is one of the statistical functions in Excel that you will find very useful if you want to count the number of cells that meet one or more criteria. Countifs is the perfect function, it can even be used to replace the countif function when you have a single criteria. Let's start by looking at how to use the countifs function when you only have one criteria. Here we have a table of data that consists of year, product, and cost columns. Let's count the number of cells that have a year equal to 2013. Let's begin by entering the countifs command. As you can see, the countfs function takes a series of parameters that include first a range and then a criteria to apply it against that range. You can have up to 127 of these range criteria pairs. The first parameter we will enter is the range of cells that you want to apply the criteria against. In our example, we will enter the range A2 to A9. This is the range of cells that will be tested to see if they meet the criteria. The second parameter we will need to enter is the criteria that will be applied against the range A2 to A9. This criteria can either be a value or the reference to a cell that contains a value. In our example, we will enter equals 2013. The countif function will test each value in the range A2 to A9 to see if it matches the year 2013. Since we only want to apply one criteria, these are all of the parameters that we need to enter. So, let's see what the countif function returns. You should see the value for appear. This value is calculated by examining the values in cells A2 to A9 and counting only those cells that contain the value, 2013. In this example, cells A2, A5, A6, and A8 were included in the count, so our countifs function returns the value of 4. Now let's see how to apply two criteria. Let's count the number of cells that have a year equal to 2013 and a product value equal to oranges. Again, we will enter the countifs command and start with the same two parameters that we entered in the first example, by entering the range A2 to A9 as the first parameter and equals 2013 as the second. Now, let's apply our second criteria by entering two more parameters. We will enter the range B2 to B9 as the third parameter and equals oranges as the fourth parameter. The countif function will test each value in the range B2 to B9 to see if it matches the value oranges. Now, let's see what this formula returns. You should see the value 2 appear as the result. In this example, cells are only counted if both the year is 2013 and the product is oranges, so only these cells matched. Finally, let's see how to apply three criteria. Let's count the number of cells that have a year greater than or equal to 2009, a product of oranges, and a year also less than or equal to 2012. Again, we'll start with countifs and then enter the range A2 to A9 as the first parameter and greater than equals 2009 as the criteria to apply against this range. Next, we will enter the range B2 to B9 as the next parameter and equals oranges as the criteria for this range. Finally, we will enter the range A2 to A9 and less than equals 2012 as the criteria for this final range. Now, let's see what results we get. You should see 1 as the result, since there is only one instance where the year is greater than or equal to 2009, the product is oranges, and the year is less than or equal to 2012. This covers our examples of how to use Excel's countifs function.